Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking every single Chapter 2 Season 7 Battle Pass skin. But if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on post notifications notified every single time I upload. And if you want to go the extra mile to support me, you can use code NOCKYESUS in the Fortnite item shop. So Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 is here and we got a lot of awesome Battle Pass skins and in today's video I'm going to rank every single one of them and comment down below what you guys think of the Battle Pass this season. I think it's a really cool Battle Pass, I can't lie, we got a lot of cool skins this season I think this season is actually one of the cooler seasons we've had in a while. Fortnite's actually on a roll right now, Season 6 was awesome and now Season 7 is awesome. I personally didn't like Seasons 3 through 5. But the past couple seasons have been really good and I've been having a lot of fun. So hopefully that continues, but with all that being said, let's get into these rankings. So in the number 8 spot we have the Zyg skin. In my opinion this is the worst skin of the battle pass. It's not a terrible skin, but it's really not a good skin either. I definitely don't see myself wearing this to be honest. I'm usually not a very big fan of the bulky skins and this is a very bulky skin. It isn't terrible though and it actually does have a really cool edit style. And I like how the pickaxe is actually attached to the arm, so it does have some plus sides, so don't get me wrong, that's why I said it's not a terrible skin, but it is a little bit too bulky of a skin for me to ever run that often. So that's why that's going to take my last spot. In the next spot, number 7, we have the Joey skin. I think this skin is a really cool idea, actually. I like how you can switch it from one character to another character all in one skin. I think that's a really cool idea. I guess basically it's supposed to be in disguise or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's how I understood it because the emote, it unzips itself and then it's a different skin. So yeah, really cool skin idea and I think they pulled it off pretty well. I honestly don't have too much to say about this skin. Both styles look really cool. The first one, it does look a little boring but it has all these really cool tattoos and stuff and an eye patch. So it does look a little unique. It's not just like a boring default skin type character we've gotten in other battle passes. It still is a little unique. And then the edit style is like a futuristic alien. So if you're into that kind of thing, we got this skin too for it. So overall, it's a pretty good skin. It's going to take the number seven spot. In the number six spot, we had the Chimera skin. Now, I personally didn't think this was the coolest looking skin at first until I realized that you can customize this skin so much. You can customize the skin, the back bling, every item of the set can be customized. And the skin has so many different customizable options, you can change literally everything about it, and that's probably why it's going to be a little bit higher on this list, otherwise it might have been lower than the Joey skin. But just the customizability is really cool, and I like how this time they made it to where you get to keep all the edit styles you buy, whereas in previous seasons with like the Maya skin from Chapter 2 Season 2, we only got to keep the edit styles we chose, which really sucked, because I wish I could change it up a little bit sometimes. So they did a really good job with this skin and it was a really good idea and it fits the theme of the battle pass really well with the whole alien theme and stuff. And it will be a skin that will be easy to make a lot of combos for. For the next skin on this list we have the Guggymon skin. This is a bunny skin. I think it looks really cool and you can make a lot of stuff match with it. This will be a really cool skin to rock during Easter time next year. It probably should have been in the last battle pass to be honest. I'm surprised it wasn't. But nonetheless it is a cool skin. It's kind of like a creepy alien with bunny ears. It's really cool and I like the skin a lot. The color scheme is pink and black so there's a lot of stuff you can make match with the skin too. Like a lot of pickaxes and stuff we've gotten from previous battle passes. Because pink does tend to be a color you see a lot on skins in Fortnite. It comes with a one handed pickaxe which is cool because one handed pickaxes are my favorite pickaxes in the game. So when I saw that I was pretty excited. And overall, this is just a solid skin, and that's why it's going to have to take my number 5 spot. In the number 4 spot, we have the Sunny skin. This skin is probably one of my favorite skins in the Battle Pass. It's basically like a human Fortnite skin that's obsessed with the aliens and excited for the aliens. It's basically one of the skins from Believer Beach, I assume. And it's a really cool skin, honestly. I like the design of it. I like how it fits into the Battle Pass. And because it has red hair and a lot of red on it, you can match it with red items. Which makes it to where you can match it with a lot of stuff. It's good to make combos for. And I like the skin a lot. I like the design of it. I think the pickaxe is really cool too. It's like this one-handed guitar pickaxe. And it's like my favorite pickaxe to run with the power cord skin now. It's awesome. And overall, this skin is just an awesome skin. And it had to take the number four spot. 
Honestly, in most battle passes, it'd probably be ranked a little bit higher, but the next three skins are really awesome. In the number three spot, we have the Superman skin. Sadly, they decided to do what they've been doing lately, which is revealing the skin the first week of the battle pass, which I really don't like because it's supposed to be a secret skin, and it's never a secret anymore for some reason. So that's going to have to take a few points away from it. Really don't like that they did that, but as far as the skin goes, it is a really cool looking skin. It's basically, it's Superman. It's exactly what you'd expect from a Superman skin. It looks awesome. You get the Clark Kent style where it's basically Superman in a suit with the glasses, just like the movies and everything. And then you get the normal, and then you get the normal Superman that you have to do an emote to turn into. It's really cool. It's kind of like how the Iron Man skin works. It also comes with Superman's cape, and this is really the most popular DC skin we don't have, so I was really excited to see this in the Battle Pass, because I mean, and we finally have it in Fortnite, which I think is really cool. People have been talking about a Superman skin coming into Fortnite for years now. Honestly, I'm surprised it took this long to happen, but I'm really excited to see it in the game, so that's why it's taking the number three spot. In the number two spot, we have the Rick Sanchez skin. This skin is awesome. They decided to put this as the tier 100 skin, which I didn't really like that it was the tier 100. I am not a fan of collab skins being tier 100. In my opinion, Dr. Sloan should have been the tier 100 skin, but sadly it was Rick Sanchez. But the Rick Sanchez skin is an awesome skin. If you like Rick and Morty, you're going to love this skin. It's awesome. It has a Morty pickaxe, which is really cool. It has a lot of other Rick and Morty themed weapons. I really like the wrap this comes with. It's probably my favorite wrap in the game. It looks awesome. As far as the skin goes, it literally looks like it came from the show because it's one of those animated skins, which does make it a little bit harder to make combos with, but it still does look really cool in my opinion and fits into Fortnite really well. And I think it opens the door to a lot of new collabs we probably didn't think we could get into Fortnite. And this skin's definitely an A+. It's gonna have to take the number two spot. And in my number one spot, we have the Dr. Sloan skin. This skin is awesome. I honestly, when honestly when we saw the silhouette of this skin from the challenges, I really didn't expect it to look this cool, but it looks awesome. I like this skin so much. It has two different edit styles, and I like both of them. It's really easy to make combos for. It fits into Fortnite really well. And in my opinion, this definitely should have been the tier 100 skin. I don't really have much else to say about it other than it's really cool. I like the design of it and it fits the Fortnite season really well. But anyways, guys, comment down below with your rankings of the Battle Pass and tell me what you think of the Battle Pass. And if you did go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And with all that being said, I'm out, dudes. Peace.